Thank you for joining in and for today's video, it's um, more of an informational video. I'm going to talk about household items that you can use for your watercolor, like tips and tricks here. Um, first up, this is an old vitamin bottle or any type of little, little spray. So if you have you know, your watercolor set out, you can just spray them and wet them with that. Um, sometimes these little bottles are hard to find. That's why I recommend, um, like I said, this one just happens to be an old vitamin bottle. Sometimes you can find them at drugstores, but they're usually like a little bit bigger and chunkier. So there's an idea there. And obviously you can rip off the label and you know change it to whatever you want. And the same thing with this type of bottle. You can clean it up and then use a controlled amount if you wanted to like add some in your, your puddles and your palette. So that's another, another good tip there. And um, I was always big on recycling too and reusing things. And I'm sure you've seen a lot with the, um, the little tins here and saving, saving your own colors and um, reusing these tins. You can put anything in here. But even if you have the little pans, you can put like a glue dot down and then stick your little color on top of that and it won't rattle in here. trying to think maybe if they were half pans you could probably fit about six I think like three and three I guess that's dependent upon how big your your pan size were and the if you're just looking for a cheaper palette um, ice cube trays work but one thing I wanted to mention too is that this one just happens to be the longer ones, but you can still put, you know, a color on each side and have like a decent size separation. <clears throat> but you can, if you're going to use these, make sure you get one with like an edge. So that way you can write the, the name of each color on here. That's really beneficial because some of the ice cube trays, they don't even have that. But again, just like a, a fine marker, fine tip pen, and then you can write all your colors on there if you wanted to especially if you're just starting out maybe you know you're, maybe you're not really sure and you don't want to spend a whole lot of money so that's a good idea and this would be for like on the go like these old Tupperware containers this one just happens to be pink might be a little bit better if it's white but um I never really used this so I thought I would just use it for art supplies and anyways you can mix all your colors in here and there's like a decent size edge here so you don't have to worry about anything leaking over and you can you know if you have the tube colors you can squirt out all your colors over here and like I said use this as a mixing well or or you could just keep it all for mixing and then close it up and take it with you wherever you're going and again any lid would work too this is what I just happen to have on hand and also, um, <clears throat> even if you are outside or on the go, um, children's size cups are always good. You know, just like a, a simple plastic cup to take with you that's um, relatively cheap. And again, like I said, it's plastic. I mean, if you're you know an artist on the go, you don't have to worry about breaking glass or anything like that. And most people know, like old jars, you can stick a sponge in there. You know, this one might be a little bit more acrylic, but, and then use the brush to clean your, use the sponge to clean your brush, is what I meant. And knock it around in there and get the extra paint off. But, um, yeah, and also a little bonus tip, a lot of test strips for watercolor. You know, you can certainly make whatever design you want on there. And you can use them as bookmarks. Mm -hmm. It's cute. And like I said, you can design it however you want to. But that's just a few couple of little things you can use around the house if you didn't already know about. And thank you so much for watching and I hope some of this, these ideas helped you. Especially if you're a newer beginner. 
Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe and like the video.